Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Dinners with Deja. It's your girl Deja, and today I will be making mini meatloafs and mashed potatoes. Now this recipe is great for if you want to take these mini meatloafs to lunch, or if you have kids, it's a lot easier for them to eat, and it won't be so messy, and it's very quick and simple. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have my oven preheated at 400, and I have a little muffin tray. This is what we're gonna put our mini meatloafs in. And for our recipe, I have pepper, a little bit of Italian seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, one large egg, and I used one pack of just regular ground beef like this. So just one of those. I have Worcestershire. I have half of a jalapeno chopped. We're gonna need two tablespoons of garlic, and then I have one, a half a cup of onions, white onions. All right, so for our mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and add our onions and our jalapenos. Now, you can skip the jalapeno part if you don't want it to have spice. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I love spice in all of my foods. And so any kick that I can get, I can add. If you are like, I totally don't want spice or I have kids eating this, you can totally skip the jalapeno part. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of garlic. I just have the pre-minced garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and add our large egg. Make sure not to get any shells in there. I'm gonna do about three dashes of Worcestershire. A tablespoon of salt. We're gonna do a tablespoon of pepper. And then I'm just gonna do about a pinch. So like that, a pinch of Italian seasoning. You really do not want a lot. Half a tablespoon of paprika. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And half a tablespoon of onion powder. Now once you get all of that, you're gonna go ahead and mix it. Um, if you want to, you can use the spoon. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my hand. I like to get in there and get messy. So I am just gonna mix this until everything is fully incorporated. All right, so I went ahead and switched my oven to 375. And we're gonna grease your pan. I'm just using the spray. If you don't have the spray, you can just grease it with butter. It'll totally work fine. All right, so there was no more Pam left in there. So I just went on ahead and buttered mine. And I'm just gonna take a small amount. And I'm just gonna fill them up to the top with the meat. And why I do it in small portions is because you don't wanna get to the end and you know you have one fill of one fourth of the way. So make sure you guys are portioning these very well. And it smells amazing, the smell of the onions, the garlic, all of the ingredients incorporated so well. This is great for kids to enjoy, if you're having some company over, you don't have to worry about it being too messy, quick. pop it in the oven and set a timer. Now, when a lot of people think of meatloaf, they think, oh, meatloaf. But it could be really great if you incorporate a lot of ingredients into it. All right, so I'm gonna pop these into the oven, 375. I'm gonna do that for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna take it out and we're gonna add our sauce to it and we'll get started on the sauce right after I put these in the oven. 
All right guys, so now to get started on our glaze that will go on top of the meatloaves, I have them in the oven at 375. We're gonna cook them for 10 minutes uncovered and we're gonna make our sauce that will go on top of it. Once they come out for the first 10 minutes, we'll put the um, sauce on top and put it back in for about five to 10 minutes so the sauce can get nice and good caramelized glaze on it. So I'm going to use regular ketchup and then I also have Whataburger spicy ketchup. The mixture is great. You're also going to need brown sugar. All right, so I'm gonna do one fourth of a cup of the spicy ketchup. And I'm gonna do one fourth of a cup of the regular ketchup. And then I'm going to do half a tablespoon of brown sugar. And this is just gonna help it get a nice glaze going. So then once that is all in there, just mix it together. And then you'll just put it right on top of the meatloaf once it comes out. And then you'll pop it back in for about five to 10 minutes and then it will be ready. All right guys, so in my pot, I have four medium golden potatoes that I peeled and cut into fours, and I put them into the boiling water, and I'm just gonna let these boil for about 20 minutes, and then I'll check them, and then once we're done, we'll get started on the mashed potatoes. All right guys, so I just took my mini meatloaves out of the oven. This has been 10 minutes. And this is what they look like. And so now I'm going to add our sauce that we made. I'm just gonna spread them right over the top. Make sure you get good and plenty. All right guys, so I pulled them out and it's been about 10 minutes and this is what they look like. I went ahead, now some of these meatloaves have resistance because they're a little bit stuck to the pan, so I was able to pour some of the grease out. If you, depending on what meatloaf you get, um, like if it says, you know, 90% um, percent meat and like how much fat that it has on there, the more fat that you're gonna have, the more oil that's gonna be in your pan. And so you're gonna wanna strain that oil out just so you don't have Whole bunch of grease surrounding your meatloaf because you want this sauce to be able to caramelize nicely all right guys this is what it looks like once it's finished we're gonna go ahead and pop these back into our 375 degree oven and I'm going to set my timer for five minutes so five minutes and I'm gonna check on it and we're gonna see how it has caramelized. And if it looks perfect, I'm gonna take them out. If I feel like it needs a little bit more time, then I'm gonna pop it back in. All right guys, so this is what they look like after five minutes. I'm not too happy with how my sauce is right now. I want it to be a little bit more caramelized. So I'm gonna put these back in the oven for another five minutes. So if yours looks like this, you can pop it back in for another five minutes. If you think that's perfect and fine, go ahead and eat it. But I'm going to set them in for another five minutes. And I will show you guys what they look like when they come out. All right guys, so our mashed potatoes are done and I strained all of the water out of them. So now we're gonna add our ingredients. You're going to need salt, pepper, I have about two tablespoons of butter, one fourth of cream cheese, and you're also going to need milk to help cream it out. So first I'm going to add about one fourth a cup of milk. Then I'm going to add our butter. So go ahead and add your butter into the mixture. All right, and so next will be the cream cheese. And I have about one fourth cup of cream cheese. So go ahead and just add your cream cheese. 
to that. And I still have my stove on about low, so that way it can help melt everything into it. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt and a tablespoon of pepper. And that's it. I don't really go too crazy with my mashed potatoes. Sometimes, you know, a little goes a long way. So now I'm going to mash up my potatoes. Okay, so now I'm going to mash up my potatoes and make sure everything is incorporated and mixed nicely. And I have my stove on low. All right, so let's go ahead and mash this. And you want to watch the consistency of it as you smash because I really enjoy creamy mashed potatoes. And so you want to watch to make sure if you need to add just a little bit more milk to it. And I will show you guys the consistency that I like it once I am done mashing. All right, everyone. So our mashed potatoes are done and they should be very creamy. And they are and I still like to leave a little bit of clumps in my mashed potatoes just because I like the texture of having the clumps but yes this is what your mashed potatoes should look like and our meatloaf is almost done and I will plate and you guys will be able to see everything once it is all together all right guys so this is what it looks like after they are done here are our mini meatloafs they're standing straight you can see all the ingredients it smells amazing here are our creamy mashed potatoes they look wonderful and it's so easy and so quick and the kids are gonna love it anyone's gonna love them and they're just super cute and adorable like who wouldn't want to eat those so let me know if you guys try this if you like it Send me videos, send me pictures. I love to see you guys make this if anyone is making these. Um, and I wanna get feedback and let me know how I'm doing and how the ingredients are and if they really taste good <laughs> to you guys. Um, so like and subscribe, bye.